Chiefs Kingdom, what is up? Gary McKenzie, another episode of Gridiron Lines, a bye week special. So I wanted to take some time to just sit back and look at where the Chiefs stand in the AFC and talk about their chances of making a push for the number one seed as well as their odds for winning a Super Bowl and what other teams are out there to challenge Kansas City for that number one spot. Now more than ever, that number one spot is super important because only one team gets a bye week in the NFL playoffs, and it's that number one seed because we currently have seven teams making the playoffs. So once again, I took an assignment and did some back page scribbles, and so I've just got a bunch of information to share with you all. And we're going to start with the current AFC standing. So the, the Chiefs are currently number one in the AFC playoff standings with a record of 7-2. and two. Baltimore also has a record of 7-2. and two. They're the number two seed. The reason they're the number two seed is because they've lost to two AFC teams, whereas the Chiefs lost to the Lions, an NFC team, and the Broncos, an AFC team. So they've got the tiebreaker. Coming in third are the Jacksonville Jaguars. Fourth, Miami Dolphins. Fifth, the Pittsburgh Steelers have that five spot. The first available wild card spot the cleveland browns are number six at five and three and the Bengals are taking that last spot also having a five and three record so the Bengals got off to a late start for the season uh when the season began joe burrow's calf caused them a lot of problems and i don't think the Bengals will finish in that last playoff spot i think they'll work their way up and will challenge um, you know, for that number five spot, and maybe even give Baltimore a run for their money. So as of now, regarding the Super Bowl, do you know who the favorites are, according to Vegas, to win the Super Bowl? That team is the Chiefs. They have plus 500 odds to win the Super Bowl. The next closest team are the Philadelphia Eagles, who they will see after the bye week at plus 525. And then you go down the line, most of, most of the other teams who are closest to the Chiefs have twice as much uh, or twice as worse chances of making the, or winning the Super Bowl. The only other team that's in the hunt with Philadelphia and Kansas City is San Francisco. So those, those are your three top teams, according to Vegas, Kansas City, Philadelphia, San Francisco. Baltimore is the next closest team at plus 900, so almost twice as much as the Chiefs. And then the third place teams, uh, is according to Vegas, with the best odds to win the Super Bowl in the AFC are the Dolphins at eleven at plus 1,100 and the Bengals at plus 1,100. So currently, the Chiefs are number 12 in terms of points scored offensively. They are number 7 in yards yards gained offensively. They're number 2 in points for, de, points for defensively. So defensively, they're doing very well. And number 4 in yards defensively. So... The Chiefs' defense has been the identity of this team so far throughout the season, and their SRS numbers bear this out. So the SRS score is a matrix math calculation used comparing, as calculated by comparing all other teams' outputs versus each other. So if there's a team that has a high points per game allowed average and the, the team that faces them scores well below that, then their offensive ranking will drop. If they play a team that has a low points per game allowed average and they score a lot of points against that team, then that number will go up. So right now, the Chiefs offense, using that matrix calculation, which is honestly one of my favorite ways to evaluate teams, uh, the Chiefs rank number 21 offensively. So a lot of you have been complaining about the Chiefs offense, and I think that those complaints are valid. And right now, Vegas is betting on the Chiefs to try to – the Chiefs to kind of turn that around. Defensively, they're number two, according to SRS score. And in terms of point differential, they're ranked number five. If you remember the years that the Chiefs won the Super Bowl in 2019 and 2022, in 2019, they had the number three offense, according to SRS score, the number seven defense, according to SRS score, and the number four point differential. In 2022, they had the number two offense, the number 19 defense, and the number four point differential. I went through and I calculated a bunch of numbers in the passing era for Super Bowl winners. And since 1999, 
So I believe that the greatest show on turf with Kurt, Kurt Warner started a new era in NFL football, which I will define, which I have defined as the passing era. I don't know if anyone else has called it this. This is kind of something that I've coined just from being a stats nerd and kind of observing the game of football from a historical perspective. But I think since 1999 and to present, this is the passing era era of the NFL. And I think that Patrick Mahomes in the late 2010s may have taken that to a next level and kind of created what I also have called the hyper-passing era. But right now, we're just going to look at since 1999 in the passing era. And right now, you might be wondering, okay, well, how have Super Bowl winning teams done in terms of offense and defense? And you might think that they needed to have both a top five offense and a top top, top five defense. Well, I crunched the numbers, and that's simply not the case. Of the 24 teams that have won the Super Bowl since 1999, only 17% of them, so one in six, had a top five offense, and a top five defense. 50% of them just had a top five defense, and 63% of them just had a top five point differential. So the Chiefs right now, with with the defense the way it's playing, it's totally in the realm of possibility that they go on and win the Super Bowl. I don't think that the the offensive struggles are the nail in the coffin for this team. It will make things more difficult for them, But that point differential also matters. So right now, the Chiefs are number five in point differential in the NFL. And like we mentioned, 63% of those Super Bowl winners in the last, you know, 24 seasons or the last 24 Super Bowls, they had a top five point differential. Right now, the other team that I think is really causing problems in the AFC are the Baltimore Ravens. I think that as of now, the Baltimore Ravens are the team to beat for Kansas City to make it back to the Super Bowl. They're currently number five in terms of SRS score offensively, number one in terms of SRS score defensively. Baltimore's remaining schedule. So this is important for playoff seeding. Uh, Back to playoff seeding. Right now, the Chiefs own the number one seed. Week 10, Baltimore faces Cleveland. Week 11, Cincinnati. Week 12, they go to the Chargers. Week 13, they have a bye. Week 14, they play the Rams. Week 15, they go to Jacksonville. Week 16, they go to San Francisco. Week 17, they play Miami. And week 18, they play Pittsburgh. Of those uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 remaining games, four of those games I think could go either way. And I want to talk a little bit about the Ravens' schedule up to this point in time. So right now, the Ravens have the best SRS score in the NFL, which means they would be favored to win in any neutral site versus any NFL team at this point in time, just going simply off their SRS score. But while Baltimore's defense has allowed 13.8 points per game, I want to talk a little bit about their season so far. And I feel like this hasn't been touched on yet by anyone in mainstream media, and no one has really talked about how lucky the Ravens have been up to this point in the season. So week one, they had the Houston Texans. That was C.J. Stroud's very first start in the NFL. Week two, they played Joe Burrow without his uh, one of his legs because of that calf injury. Week three, they played the Colts at home and lost to Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew beat this Ravens team. Week four, they went to Cleveland, and Dorian Thompson-Robinson started that game because uh, Watson, Deshaun Watson, was out. Week 5, they played in Pittsburgh and lost to Kenny Pickett. Week 6, they went to Tennessee, and um, Tannehill got taken out of that game eventually and replaced by Malik Willis. It was just a bad game, and Tennessee has looked terrible on offense. At least they looked terrible on offense when Tannehill was running the show this season. Week 7. They had a good game. Uh, They held Detroit and Jared Goff to six points. In week eight, they were at Arizona, and they won that game, but Joshua Dobbs scored 24 points in that game versus the Bengals' defense, or versus the Ravens' defense. And then week nine, they had Seattle at home, and they destroyed the the Seahawks, and they held Geno Smith to only three points. But while the the Ravens are allowing 13.8 points per game, 
The Chiefs are allowing 15.9 points per game, so they're number two. Uh, The Ravens have the number one scoring defense. The Chiefs have the number two scoring defense. And looking down the list of offenses and quarterbacks the Chiefs have faced, every single week so far this season, the Chiefs have played a better quarterback. Week one, uh, while Baltimore had Stroud, the Chiefs had to face Jared Goff. Chiefs played the better quarterback. Week two, the Bengals had an injured Joe Burrow. The Chiefs played Trevor Lawrence. Chiefs faced the better quarterback. Week three, the Ravens lost to the Gardner Minshew Colts. Week three, the Chiefs played Justin Fields. And I think that one might be a wash, but honestly, Justin still has, or Fields still has a starting role. So I'm actually going to take Fields in this case. Week four, Cleveland had DT, or the Ravens played Cleveland. They had DTR. Week four, the Chiefs played Zach Wilson, who played the game of his life. And that one, you can have some arguments saying that DTR is better than Wilson, but I don't think that to be the case. So once again, the Chiefs, four weeks in a row, played a better quarterback than the Ravens. Week five, the Ravens saw Kenny Pickett, and the Chiefs saw Kirk Cousins in week five. Week six, ten, uh, the Ravens saw Tannehill. Week six, the Chiefs saw Russell Wilson. Week seven, the Ravens saw Jared Goff. Week seven, the Chiefs saw Justin Herbert. Week eight, Joshua Dobbs for the Ravens. Russell Wilson again for the Chiefs. And then week nine, uh, the Ravens saw Geno Smith, while the Chiefs saw Tua Tagovailoa. And every single game so far this season, the Chiefs have played a better offense than the Ravens have had to face. Yet no one is talking about this schedule of teams and quarterbacks the Ravens have played. And while, yes, they are doing the job defensively and offensively, I think that the Chiefs' defensive mark so far this year, even though they're giving up 2.1 more points per game, I think that what the Chiefs' defense has done is more impressive than what the Ravens have done defensively so far this season. So out of the four teams in the AFC playoff picture, I think that the Chiefs, the Ravens, the Jaguars, and the Bengals all realistically have a shot at that number one spot. I think that at the end of the um, regular season, those will be the four best teams. Jacksonville has three questionable games where they might lose out of a remaining nine. So they have a lot of room where they could catch up some ground. And if you remember, they're pretty much undefeated versus every team that isn't the Kansas City Chiefs. So they could really make a push for that number one spot as well. Their questionable games are versus San Francisco, Cincinnati, and Baltimore. And then Cincinnati, they have their work cut out for them. They'll have to finish the season strong. And they have four questionable games out of their last nine uh, versus Baltimore, Jacksonville, And they have a game at Pittsburgh, which is never easy for them. And then they also play the Chiefs. The Chiefs' most difficult games so far the remainder of the season are Week 11 versus Philadelphia, Week 14 versus Buffalo, Week 17 versus Cincinnati. All three of those games are at home. And then Week 18 versus the Chargers at L.A., which is always a difficult game for the Chiefs. But as of now, looking at all this information, The Chiefs are favored to win the Super Bowl. They're the top team. They have the best odds to win the Super Bowl. The Chiefs currently have the number one seed. All four of the remaining teams do have challenging games. The Chiefs have essentially a two-game lead over Jacksonville because they beat them in a head-to-head matchup. And then versus Cincinnati, they'll see them later on in the year. They don't play Baltimore at all. But as far as the regular season goes... Even though the Chiefs' offense has been struggling, this team still has a straight shot to the number one seed. I think they have the best chance to land the number one seed. The remaining challenging games are at home. And so this should be a team that finishes 13-4 and or perhaps 14-3. And and we'll see how the season goes. But the Chiefs also have the tiebreaker over the Dolphins. So they beat... Two of the top four teams in the AFC so far this year. And that's why or how you get to that number one spot. My question for you all is, do you like that plus, do you like those plus plus 500 odds for the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl? Do you think they should be the favorite? Do you think that the Chiefs offense is going to be the nail in the coffin? 
Do you think that they're currently ranked number 21? Do you think that's where they should be? Or do you think they'll finish the, finish the season much better than that? I think that this offense is going to turn things around and do much better than that tw- number 21 ranking. I, I honestly can't see a Patrick Mahomes-led offense finishing in the bottom half of the league. The defense needs to keep doing what they're doing. But as of now, a lot of things are working in the Chiefs' favor. They have that top five point differential a top five defense, and they've got Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. So I think it's hard to deny this team that option or or the probability of them being the favorites. So that's my rewind for the bye week. Just wanted to give you guys a reset to show kind of where the Chiefs where the Chiefs stand, how the rest of the AFC may shake out that number one seed. See how things pan out. Let me know down in the comments again. Do you think the Chiefs get the number one seed? And as always. Make sure you hit that like the bu- hit that like button if I could talk right. Hit that like button and then subscribe if you haven't done so already. We're once again trying to get to 30,000 30, subscribers. We are inching our way closer every day. Every one of you that hits that subscribe button, we love you. And if you don't hit that subscribe button, I guess we love you too because you're here watching. So you must be a smart cheese fan. But that's all I've got. This is Gary signing out. Let's go enjoy this bye week. Spend some time with your family. Maybe get out and do something. Whatever it is that makes you happy. Take it easy. Gary, signing out. Thanks for watching this video from the team at RGR Football. Click these videos to see more. And subscribe to RGR Football.